Hi guys, my name is Alethea, this is Gotcha Covered. Today I'm covering all the winter trends you need to know about to be super trendy and ahead of the curve. All of these are things that I have figured out through my own systematic way of breaking down trends that are practical and actually wearable instead of all the ridiculous stuff that's on the runway that people tell you is in fashion. Er, nope, I don't want you wasting your money and buying things that are not gonna be trendy this season. So stick around till the end, definitely a good watch. As I was doing research for this video, the first thing that I always do is go to all the major brands runway show, kind of look through, see what they were showing. But I'm sure if you have ever looked at a runway show, you realize that a lot of that stuff is not to be rude, but kind of dumb. So much of the clothing is something that I would never wear. It's not practical. I'm not gonna go to my algebra class wearing some like big feathery collar. Like it's just not gonna happen. Maybe in New York or something where they're super fashion conscious, it makes sense, but pretty much everywhere else with just normal people, just not gonna wear it. But that doesn't mean you don't care about fashion. So you still wanna wear things that are up to date. So I broke down everything in a way that is way more user friendly. It's gonna be stuff that you can just wear and you don't have to have this big thing in your way or walk funny throughout the day. So I got some good ones for you today. Number one that you need to be paying attention to is the square neckline. I saw them pretty much on every single runway show. At least one piece had this really deep square neckline doesn't have to be low cut. I feel like that's something that a lot of these like high-end designers are kind of going for, but most people don't want to be walking around with a huge amount of skin showing, especially in the middle of the winter. Like, come on, it's cold outside. So I found some that are way less revealing, is a little bit less showy, doesn't require a special bra. You can just wear this and forget about it. So I found some of my favorite pieces. Check them out, aren't they pretty? Yes, beautiful. All the links are gonna be listed below, of course. Of course. This isn't even sponsored. This is done out of the kindness of my heart. I just wanted you to look amazing. You're welcome. This winter, you have to be looking out for leather bottoms. Anything from leather pants, leather skirts, that's about it. Yep, you're gonna be looking out for that. In the past, I feel like I've seen that like pleather legging or skinny jeans look. It's not really a thing anymore. I've seen some people selling that, but for the most part, if you're going to be really trendy, you're gonna get something that's a little bit looser, either like a paper bag pant or be buckled at the waist and then flare out so it's a little bit looser around the leg or kind of a mid-length leather skirt. You can kind of even go extra with the leather, like wear a leather skirt and some leather boots with some cute leggings underneath. Super warm, super comfortable, super chic. A leather skirt is amazing. It's super versatile, can go with honestly pretty much anything. Something else that you gotta be looking out for is some shirt clothing or ruching, kind of meaning there's that kind of drawstring look to it. It's got a lot of gathers in it. This isn't the typical dress that you're gonna find at Ross that fits everybody but isn't super trendy where it's got that like ruching on the sides. This is more unconventional placement. That's kind of the point of this trend. So I've seen it where it's kind of at a diagonal across you or just on one shoulder it's got this ruching or down the back in the middle. I think it's fun, it looks interesting, it's fun to look at even if the piece is otherwise very simple, very plain, doesn't have a lot going on, but then that ruching just makes it a whole different thing. All right, something that I feel like you cannot miss this winter is anything satin. Runways are putting out stuff where everything's satin. I don't really think that's practical when it's cold outside. So I would say just for this season, go with this skirt. It's very versatile. You can wear it with like a fluffy sweater, maybe get like a satin slip dress and wear a turtleneck underneath. Super fun, just adds a whole different texture that you don't normally see in the winter. So it makes your outfit really interesting. It'll make it pop. I feel like satin just looks good on everybody. It's so beautiful and shimmery and shiny. It just drapes over you like a waterfall. I haven't seen a single person look bad in one of these things. So gotta get your hands on one of these. I love this one. This one is probably my favorite. For this next trend, I am totally going against the experts here, which every single website that I went to said long jackets were in fashion. Go for your long jacket if you want to. Obviously, there's nothing against it. I think a long jacket looks amazing, but most of the people that I'm giving fashion advice to are either my age or younger, probably aren't gonna go for that long jacket. It just kind of feels weird, like way too adulty. Another trend that is equally big, but people just are not talking about as much is a short boxy jacket. You'll 
look amazing, you'll look super trendy, but you don't have to have that constricting long coat. I don't know, like I just wouldn't feel natural wearing one of those things. If you are buying some new jeans this winter, look for something that's a little bit looser, kind of still that mom jean look. I feel like that's turning into such a classic at this point. But if you wanna choose something that's very trendy, a little bit more of that pop kind of feel to it, basically you're gonna to wanna to look for a pair of jeans that looks like it was two pieces kind of Frankenstein together. Doesn't need to be super chaotic or patchy looking, it can be very purposeful. I've seen some where the back was a different color than the front or two different sides were different colors or just maybe the pockets were made out of a different material, something like that. Honestly, this one is super fun. Okay, last but definitely not least, something that is huge this winter is dark florals. So if you wanna buy something that's very fun, very girly, very feminine, get that floral dress that you've been eyeing. But to make sure it doesn't look like it's a spring or summer dress, get something where the background is very muted colors and then the florals kind of popping out from there. I love this trend. I feel like all the fabrics that I've been seeing remind me of like a Renaissance painting or something like that. It's really elegant and I'm a huge fan. Okay, so that was all of my tips this winter. I know that I kind of went against the grain of what a lot of people are saying, but I really think this list is stuff that you can buy and you'll actually wear. I know for me, if I get something that's way too out there, I just never wear it. I'm super proud of it, but it just hangs in my closet. So I wanted to save you from that in this video. If this video was helpful for you, consider throwing me a like. I always appreciate that. And if there was something that really stood out to you, leave me a comment below. I love reading all of your comments. And we just hit 130 subscribers. <laughs> it feels really good that I've already had 130 people say that they wanna watch my videos. That feels really great. I don't wanna let you down. I wanna keep making amazing content. So if you haven't subscribed yet, please join our fashion family and subscribe because I come out with fashion related content every single week. I'll see you next time.